So, my Wizards finally got their first one of the season last night versus the Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, Brad Bill went off. And the team played very well overall. Um, no Russell Westbrook because it was a back-to-back. Wizards got also a good start. And for the most part, they played very well. Thomas Bryant had... <laughs> Got also a good start and played a really good game. Um, the Wizards seem to be playing a lot better now that Rui Hachimura is back. They have a, a big that can go on the post and post up and get get their shot off. Um, their bench played a lot better. Actually got some production from them. Ronado has been playing pretty good. He started in place of Westbrook. Um, he's been finding his offense. I think he's been an excellent addition to the team coming from the Sixers last year. Um, I think the, when the, um, Brad Bill gets off to a good start, the team gets off to a good start. Um, Russ and, uh, Brad Bill had a moment when Brad Bill had an M1 play and they did the, uh, rock the rock the baby uh celebration thing so that was cool um it was just good to see the wizards win uh it took y'all basically six seven six games to win but i'm happy y'all won so let's keep it up um i love seeing uh russell westbrook on the bench but engaged still in the game he worked with uh, Danny Avia during the game, giving him pointers, so he wasn't just sitting on the bench. He was really uh, into the game and uh, really cheering them on. I think we need this when Russ and Brad Bell play together. Um, it's interesting. They got the win without Russ. I know a lot of people are going to have a lot to say about that, but overall, they just play better as a team. Um, I want to see Isaac Abanga play some more. I don't know why Scott Brooks isn't playing him. He's an excellent defender. Um, I know he mentioned about the fact of Troy Brown Jr., and splitting minutes between the two of them. But if y'all are already up and winning the game, you should put the man in the game. Um, that's just what it is. The Wizards winning. Hopefully, they can keep it up. They won at home. Um, hopefully, they can take it on the road. Uh, Russell Westbrook, if he's going to triple-double, it's got to equal to a win. His triple-double means nothing without a win. Same for Brad Bill, averaging like 25-plus points. It means nothing if the Wizards don't win. Um, I like how Brad Bill said they, that the locker room was pissed off and they took it to heart that they hadn't won a game. They came out with a better sense of chemistry for us the team and they had a way better start off with the game so i think it's about finding early offense and getting off to a good start it's the key to the with us winning games if they don't do that it seems like that's when they're in trouble for us games Skybrook still has a pick with his um, rotations. David Bertans, so you know he's going to be the sixth man off the bench. You know uh, Robin Lopez is going to come in and he's going to play, and you're going to get you're going to get some points and some rebounds from him. Um, Ish Smith has been um, a solid backup for. Russell Westbrook so far this season and um Jerome Robinson 
he's played very well. He's found a little bit of offense in the recent two games. Um, he just needs to continue working on his shot so he's ready and prepared when they need his offense. Um, hopefully, we'll get to see Cassius Winston, the rookie out of Michigan State. I'm, I'm hoping to see him get some minutes throughout the season and not just ride the bench the whole season. Um, I think it's, it's definitely going to be a whole team effort. Whole team effort. But it starts mainly with Russ and uh, Brad Bell, followed by Thomas Bryant and Rui Hachimura. And David Berton's leading the bench in scoring. I think that's, that's going to be the recipe for success. And playing better defense. There were a lot of defensive lapses in the uh, Wizards win against the Timberwolves. Whether it's because players were in foul trouble or y'all switched too late. Y'all got to work on that too. But overall, y'all played a good game and game against the Timberwolves. Um, carry that over hopefully into the next few games. And I think we're good to go.